hello everyone this is harvey from black forex traders welcome back to another youtube video so in this video i'll be doing market analysis for next week so i'll be analyzing euro usd in other few pairs which include gold so without wasting any time let's get started so on this one uh, this was last two weeks so i'll have to remove all of this then i'm gonna have to start on daily so as we all know that last friday we had nfp that's where this move comes from this big move here so i'll be looking for my supply demand on this one this is euro usd i'll be looking for supply level here so let me let me start by uh, explaining this movement here so as you can see here we had a beautiful drop here then we had a a rally which is a reversal from this high here then we had this pin bar here then from this pin bar then we had a beautiful drop here then we had this consolidation then another drop which makes this pattern a rally based drop so i'm gonna use this last candlestick which is a pin bar so i'm gonna mark my supply level using this one here so for now since we are on daily i'm gonna cover the whole pin here like this then i'm gonna scale down to h4 time frame then on h4 time frame i'm gonna adjust my horizontal lines which i'm gonna cover the last pin here before the drop movement before this beautiful drop movement here so i'm gonna mark this so which means this was gonna be my my supply level here let me zoom it out so that we can see the current market price So as you can see, we had this beautiful uptrend movement here towards what the supply that I'm talking about. So let me just write supply level here. So by this, I mean uh, for the market, for us, we're going to sell. We're going to look for sell opportunity once the market reaches this level here. As you can see, the market closed after breaking this previous high here. This is the previous high that they broke as you can see they broke the previous high here so meaning that now they will target what the supply level which is the another previous high which is the higher high which is this one for now then so i'm looking for a movement like this something like this then they they drop somewhere around here the reason why i say somewhere around here because if i use my trend line to mark from this level here Let me adjust this you can see that i have what uh four touches the first one is this one the second third and the fourth one is this one so i'm looking for the fifth touch which is somewhere around this point here meaning that i'm going to look for sell opportunity once the market reaches my supply level here i mean that i won't be looking for any buy so this is what i'll be looking for something like this As you can see, this H4 time frame meaning that this will be a very huge movement to, to the downside here. So it's going to be a very huge movement. Then we're going to make a lot of profit here. So this is the uh, the direction that I'll be looking for once the market reaches my supply level here. So this is Euro USD. So we are done with Euro USD. Let's move to uh, I think it's AUD USD. Let me see. No, it's not this one. I won't be analyzing this one. Um, but if I had to to analyze this one, then let me just start from daily also. Let me zoom it out. Then also on this one, I'll be looking for my supply level here. So as you can see, the the price here or this the last movement they broke the previous highs which are this one the one the first one is this one this is the second one so the one that i'll be targeting is this higher high here this is the bigger high high that i'll be targeting so this will be my supply level here 
to be something like this then I'll scale down to each four time frame so as you can see also the very similar movement to euro USD is the same thing that is happening here so I'm just gonna adjust my line here so this will, this will make a beautiful supply level here as you can see these were the resistance levels and then they were broken here so yes we might have a small pullback here to the downside but the direction of this trend is towards the previous supply which is this one here meaning that i will only look for side opportunity once they reach my level around this point here so this is just a quick uh, analyze for you do usd so let's move to another pair oh, let's go to gold okay let me delete this then also this is gold here then same method i'm gonna start from daily and as you can see on daily we had a beautiful w then an upwards movement then we had this partial consolidation here then i'm gonna mark where the far or the first movement or the break movement happened which is somewhere around this point here then this is where the first movement happened which broke the previous small high which is this this kind of level here which broke this level these two highs here this is the kind of stick that broke this previous highs so let's go to smaller time frame to adjust our levels so as you can see this is our supply level here let me just uh, delete this one and put this one here because this is a consolidation after this small rally they made a consolidation then this breakout movement here which was news on friday you can see it was a first movement out of this base here so which marks this my what my demand zone here so what i'm anticipating on gold for now is for them to make a pullback here uh, let me zoom it out because also if i can draw my trend line from this point it will be something like this then I'm expecting them to come to this level, the demand level, which is this one. Give us something like this. So once market opens, we will see if they can open with their gap on the upper side. Then they try to close the gap by giving us a downwards movement towards this level here. So meaning that once you go to the market, uh, for me, I will be looking for buy opportunity around this point here. So meaning that once the market reaches this level here, this is where I'm going to look for my buy. Then I'm going to take them. So meaning that I'm not going to try and take any buy around this part here. So I'm going to wait for them to reach my level, which is the demand zone here. Then I'm going to do what I do best, which is buying. So then I'm going to buy gold once it reaches this point. So they can also just like continue going up. Then they will give us another new uh, demand zone that we can look for buy. But for now, this will be my first uh, demand zone that I'm gonna watch and see if they can come and reach this level and give me something like a pattern, a W with a pin bar, then they continue going up. So this is all for today, guys. I don't want to make this video long. So I analyzed only three of them. Then uh, as you can see, this is also this is Euro USD. This is the pattern that I'll be looking for. So I hope this helps you guys. Thank you.